Look at this mess. Mo had a problem with his Tramper battery today. He was testing it last night and figured out that one of his P groups was at zero volts, completely dead, all eight cells. He came round, we spliced open his battery pack, removed the offending P group, built a new one, put it in, new BMS, rewrapped the pack, all of the good stuff, and I managed to document it. Here's what happened over those six hours. Mo is not happy. Not happy. What's going on, mate? Pack's broken. Pack's broken. What's the whole P group all of a sudden? What, yeah, do you know what doesn't make any sense? Because remember, we were riding, I was at 42 volts, we came back from riding, and I was really, really low, and you were only at 70 something, and I should have been around right about there. That, was that when we did the woods? No, because it was the last time when we did the pump track. When we did the pump track? Yeah. And then, all of a sudden, I lost the whole P group. In that ride, that's why I don't think it's the BMS. Mm. What's going on, guys? Got a bit of a problem today. Uh, we were going to go to Cycler Park today, but last night I get a text message from Moe. He's lost a P group. So look at his little face, he's not very happy. So we're going to have a look at it, diagnose it. I think it's a BMS. We're going to find out. It's going to, I think we're we'll probably going to have to change that BMS anyway. But luckily, you made your leads a lot longer than mine. You can get it out. Yeah. Oh, you didn't do the external charge port yet. You're still doing no. internal. Yeah. What BM BMS are you using? That one. If I go... Two and three. Four point two volts, basically, yeah? yeah? Probably charged. Okay. Now, if I go three to four... Zero. Right. If I go four to five... Four point two. And what happens if you go... This is battery negative, right? Yeah. What happens if you go battery negative to the positive of the one in question? If I go to 4, 29, if I go to that one, 29. Yeah, so... So the whole P group doesn't work. The whole P group's finished, isn't it? Yeah. Like completely flat. <sighs> it charges. Well, yeah, it's a, that cells, that's... The, the thing is about those cells is they're, they're zero volts. Yeah. They're not even 0.01 of a volt. Yeah, and, like they, 10 work, millivolts. and they work because I can get voltages across different parts using the same pin. So they're attached. So it, they can't be an open circuit on the BMS wire because they have to be attached. Otherwise, I get zero volts no matter which pins I use on there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we're going to have to strip this down, though. We're going to have to take all the caps and tape off and the fish paper off and let's have a look what's going on. <laughs> it's a beautiful battery, mate. Look at it. You've got all the wires nice. parallel, so you can follow the wires just with your yeah. eyes. But yeah, there's nice. no crossing over. I was really good. It's a really, really well done pack. It's... We're going to have to take this tape off, mate. I've got, an... I've got some knives here. Look at this. It's disgusting. I've been using razor blades forever, mate. I just use these normally. And I've got, yeah, I use my um, little knife. But you've got a full set deck. Chris in it, just be careful. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, okay, what's the best way of doing this? I think the best way is to go backwards, so release that and just work backwards. Oh, my beautiful tape in there. I've got, I've got tons, mate. I've got right. tons, but I've taped it so well. Look, it's really, really tiny. I'm so proud. I did fuck this up and put it together. Also, I just realised your cells are fully charged, aren't they? And I've got 10 cells up there which aren't charged. Well, let's just try and see if there's anything obvious. Yeah. See, so guys, when you design a pack, the balance leads, see what Mo's done here. He's made sure that they're not going to rub on each other at all. He's made them all parallel. And he's actually glued them down and they're on fish paper. And then there was insulation on top of it. That is the way to do, correctly do balance cables. This is the best way. Most battery fires are started by these cables rubbing on each other. Uh, free vibration, so there's no way that's going to happen on this one. Good job, Mo. Yeah, hot glue in there, like that's shit. all right. This has, this has to come off, mate. I don't do dude, it's fucking beautiful, man. <laughs> this is killing it. me. We can it's redo killing it. me, though. No, because it's not going to be redone as nice as this. It will, it will. We just won't rush it. <laughs> Destroying a work of art, Mo. It is 
actually breaking my heart. Is it? Man, I put, I put so much time and effort into this, and I really took my time. I didn't rush anything. Came out fucking bang on perfect. And then you lose P group. Randomly. On a ride, during a ride. Because like you said, yeah, you were low voltage at the end of that ride. You were like way lower than me. Yeah. I, I'd use like twice as much energy. This is now just got really dangerous. Might I explain to the viewers at home why you're putting tape on the battery? Exposed. We're playing with little metal things. The last thing I want to do is short something out by accident. So always, they're getting uh, exposed tape over the top. Save your ass. So it's three and four, which is that one. So that's negative. That's the positive. That positive. So it's yeah, not that one. There's a positive then, is on that so side. It's this and one. It's this one here. Yeah. So it's this so one. So it's this whole bank here. I think is the one that's gone kaput. 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 Boop. The zero. You're measuring. Yeah. Well, you've gone from that strip, which goes all the way down. Yeah. So, you know, you've measured effectively across every single cell. So they've just been over discharged. Yeah. Well, drained. Because they've been charged. We know they've been charged. We know they've been charged. They were charged and they had 42 volts when we went out for a ride. You had 42 volts, right? So let's think about what happened. We went out for a ride and it either... But the thing is though, right, is those cells couldn't have been right because they're not going to over discharge. There's nothing regulating discharge of individual cells. It's only charge. Well, it's discharge, yes, but, but balancing discharge. There's no actual pack discharge regulation going on of individual cells, individual groups. So that could only have been damaged during balancing, I think. It's got to be balanced the way it was balanced. It's just not been balanced properly, or it's been like drained all the way down. Yeah, how? Because, so you have balanced charged it to 42, so it's 42 total volts in the pack. Yeah. Yeah, which means that, and it can't overcharge the cells. So each P group was at 4.2 volts. Then I went on a ride and one whole P group just fucking bottomed out. How is that possible though? Oh, it's taken, you did, okay, one cell, yes. And that's what I mean, this is why it doesn't make any sense. Unless you've got, unless you've had one bad cell. And it's cascaded all the way And through. the others have tried to, tried to charge it. It's super weird, mate, but either way, we're gonna have to grind some welds off and get that. Get the pack apart. All these parallel welds up here. Yeah. We can remove this entire block. Yeah. And take these cells off, replace the ten eight cells here. Yeah. Slam them back together again. Yeah. Redo people. Redo but we can't people. see I've got I've got ten cells. Yeah. And conveniently. You don't have, um, Conveniently, I have them. I've printed this recently, which is my glue guide. I got ten cells there, which you're welcome to use, um, but they're not fully charged. Yeah, we know about that. What does that mean? What voltage is this supposed to work on? Twelve. Twelve, 12 volt DC. Why is that on eighteen volts then? Oh, the lowest it goes to is 12 volts. I was actually drawing some current out at 12 volts. There you go, that's it. <laughs> Come on, Mally. Got to do it. Okay, let me just double check to make sure I'm about to cut the wrong one, the right one. I just got paranoid. Break my own heart. You were so beautifully welded. Guys, don't underestimate how tricky and precarious this sort of thing is. This is incredibly dangerous and you shouldn't really do this unless you know exactly what you're doing. What the hell am I doing then? Can we get somebody who knows what they're doing in here, please? <laughs> no, but what I'm trying to do is not pull the worlds off there. Uh, but if you do pull them off, you pull them off. Yeah, you won't be too bothered. To be honest, do you want to leave that so gnarly like that anyway? Rip it off. We'll just re-weld it. What's it leaving the underside like? Clean. Well, semi. Mate, that's fine. That's enough to weld back onto. Easy. Right, so we're nearly there, guys. Just the last one to do here. As you can see, we opted for just pulling the nickel off. Um. Oh, careful now. Oh, that's, that's, that's all right. We just 
It was neat and tidy. We need to insulate that though. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, we've got we've opted for pulling the nickel off, and it's quite clean underneath. There's no, there's a few marks from the wells, which is what you'd expect, but the, the P strips are still intact. So this side will certainly be good to weld onto the new group that we get in here. Also, we have my lipo charging here using Scott's tramper charger. Thank you, Scott. We're going to build a new P group here. So we need to get the lipo charged, spot weld these, or glue, spot weld these cells into eight uh, parallel cells, charge those up to 4.2 volts because the pack is fully charged. And then when we've done that, we can spot weld it into the pack, put the balance lead on, fish paper, captain tape, all the good stuff. And Mo, yeah. we'll have a tramper again. Yay!